Welcome to the Network Engineering Video Blog. I am your host, Michael Crane. Well, today, well, let me give you a little background first. So, if you remember in, in one of our previous videos, when we put an isolated ground that, that's actually separate than the, the chassis ground and the rack ground, and that's to make it a little quieter so there's not as much noise on the grounds for the, uh, the equipment. If you remember, the power supplies in these routers are floating, and so the, the chassis ground is actually, the chassis ground is actually separate from the power supply ground. And, and one of the, the viewers of that video said, well, you installed these, these PD. Okay, well, sorry for the interruption. Hi, <laughs> I'm editing this video and, and I noticed that I have no audio. <laughs> this wireless headset uh, microphone I'm using right here, the cable on it's kind of flaky, and I think the batteries are also low. I think I was doing another video, batteries just completely died in it. It looks like it just stopped working all of a sudden, and, and of course, I don't know that, and so I'm just blabbing away. I have no idea that I'm not being recorded. So, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to see if I can explain what's going on here. So, and by the way, if you wondered what I use to uh, edit videos with, I use Adobe Premiere Pro um, CC, it stands for cloud something or other, uh, 2019. That's pretty nice. It's a subscription based product, about 20 bucks a month or something like that, which is, which is pretty good. And it keeps you up to date. That's pretty nice software. So, okay. Enough about the editor. All right, here we go. So, <laughs> what I'm saying, I, I think, is that, uh, yeah, we installed these two PDUs in a previous video, and one of the, the viewers commented that, that these PDUs, the ground on these PDUs is probably tied to the, the cases, which is, you know, and of course the cases are bolted to the rack, and so my nice, clean, uh, isolated ground for the receptacles are actually getting muddied up by the equipment rack ground, right? Uh, and I'm saying, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these guys out. There's probably a, a ground wire uh, coming from the, the outside plug, and uh, and it's, it's probably bolted. <laughs> okay, so the first... Oops. Let me go back. And uh, there's probably a cup a wire going to the, the PDU case, and I'm just going to disconnect that wire, and and that should that should fix us up, right? And that's that's pretty much I think what I was saying. <laughs> so uh, here we go. And the rest of the video seems to be okay. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is disconnect the power. All right, just unplug these guys. And unplug all our equipment. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I did unplug them, our new um, receptacles with our isolated grounds, but I, <laughs> I had the camera zoomed out or zoomed in and you probably didn't see that. So anyway, so we've unplugged them. Now I'm just gonna untie them. And one of the one of the, also another viewer asked, or maybe it was the same one I don't remember, asked why I didn't, I didn't actually shorten these, these cables. And, and my answer pretty much was, I was just too lazy to do it. I didn't want to go, I just didn't want to mess with it. It was easier just to bundle them up and, <laughs> and just stick them on the rack, right? So now let's pull them out. All right, hopefully I'm not standing right in front of the camera. Okay, I think I think that about does it. Let's let's get them out on. Let's put them on the bench. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and 
get these brackets off here real quick. Well, it looks like this bottom panel will pull off if we remove enough screws. So let's try it. Well, <laughs> well, I've been sitting there talking and and I forgot to hit the record button. So I'm not exactly sure <laughs> where I left off. Anyway, I pulled the cover open and sure enough, here is the ground screw connecting to the uh, chassis. It's got a nice wire, it's properly crimped with an eyelet and it's got a shake proof washer and, and nut on there. But it also ties over to the, the case right there. And I thought I saw another one, yeah. There's some, oh, this is just for this outlet up here. Yeah, what we need to do is, there's two points right here. We need to remove this ground from the chassis here and here. And then that should be the only spots where it's tied to the, in, the case. Okay. So we'll, we'll take both these off. We'll tie them together. And then I'll tape them up real good so they don't they don't contact anything else inside here. And that should isolate this enclosure from the isolated ground. Okay. And then, and I don't think anything else is in here, but we'll test it before we button it back up. I think that's the best way to do it. Okay. Okay, so I found a screw and a nut and it has a shake proof washer on it. I think I'll just tie these two together and then just just tape this one up. We want to keep our our ground going to our receptacles. Our isolated ground going to our receptacles. All right, and this right here, I think I'll just put a little shrink tape or heat shrink on it. Okay, so I've got my heat gun. <laughs> okay, we got this. I got some electrical tape. I think I think that'll be just fine. All right, so I'm gonna put it together now. All right. Get the old ohm meter out here. And let's test it. Hopefully everyone can see that okay. All right. Yep. Okay. Make sure I'm testing the right wire here. Let's see, this is common. Okay, we got the right wire because the commons go through. Actually, the ground should go through too. Yep. Now let's check the chassis. Let's do it on a screw. Oh, did we miss something? Oh, you know what? Oh, I bet you all these sockets 
Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's a fail. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and took this thing apart again and, and pulled um, one of the sockets out. And, and it doesn't look like <laughs> I can unstrap that ground. It, it looks like it is pretty much tied directly. I mean, it's, in fact, let me just take it apart here real quick. So here's the ground and it's riveted. <laughs> looks like in three different places. Plus, it looks like it's holding this thing together somehow. I'm not exactly sure if you guys can see that very well, but... So, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to, <laughs> to use that, unfortunately. Don't forget, you can support the Network Engineering video blog by donation using a credit card and PayPal, or by purchasing products at the Muxall store. Details and links are in the description under this video. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, that helps, and hit the subscribe button, that really helps. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.